project is uh, the Euclid Creek Tunnel Project. It's the sewer district's first project under our Project Clean Lake program, which is our long-term control plan for combined sewer overflow to mitigate the combined sewage that overflows into the environment here in Northeast Ohio when it rains. Well, today is an exciting day because our tunnel boring machine cutter head um, is fully assembled and is upright, and we're able to take a, take a look at our tunnel boring machine affectionately named Mackenzie for the first time before she goes underground and on her journey of uh, more than 18,000 linear feet uh, that will take until early 2014 to complete. Um, Mackenzie's cutter head is a pretty hefty piece of machinery. She's going to top the 320 mark uh, before she's lowered into the shaft more than 200 feet below grade to join up with the other components of the tunnel boring machine and begin her journey underground uh, Cleveland here um, probably at the end of July. Uh, these tunnels are deep. They're 200 uh, feet down so that when the sewer pipes get inundated with rainwater, instead of relieving themselves and overflowing into the lake or into the river, they drop down into these sewers that were consolidation sewers that were building to bring the flow to the tunnels. The tunnels can store the rain until the rain uh, ends. And then our wastewater plant up near Bratinol, um, here called Easterly, can actually then receive the flow, fully treat it before it's discharged into Lake Erie. Ooh, right now they are.